Hi, I'm Matt with CAD Dimensions. We just got our new Origin 1 3D printer in from Stratasys, and we're really excited about it. We've been waiting a long time for this to come in, and we're one of the first partners in the Northeast to get this printer. So come along with me as we unbox this and see what it can do. Looks like we have a few accessory kits here. This is the build head. Set these aside. Got the tools and cables box. Looks like a lot of tools and cables. The tray sheets for the resin bat. And just a general accessory box. Actually, this is the bat itself. There you go. So now we got the accessories out, it's time to tip this up on its side and get the printer out. So man, so the whole thing ships as one unit, or did other pieces come before? Yes, yeah, so before we got a starter kit with some of the supplies we needed, including with the Dymax UV cure chamber and a Branson ultrasonic cleaner to clean and cure the parts after they're printed. But in this box is just the printer and that, those accessories as I showed. New branding. Yeah. So here it is, the Origin One. We're gonna put it up on its table and start setting it up. Ready, there, muscles? Nope. You want me in for support, I guess. I thought about off. that. We were going to put them on a couple blocks. You know? or a block. <laughs> this is the most satisfying part of unboxing anything. Oh, you can hear that. Wow. So, what's, uh, what are we looking at? We're looking at the Origin 1 from Stratasys. Um, you can see here, opens up, your resin vat sits in there, and your build head's up there, and this is the touchscreen panel. Alright, so we got our printer set up here. Big shout out to Bruce and Rich at Stratasys for helping us get this installed. Let's talk about the printer. The Origin One is a DLP 3D printer powered by P3 technology, which stands for Programmable Photopolymerization. The build head moves down into the resin vat, at which point a 4K projector projects the entire slice to cure that layer. The build head moves up to allow more resin to flow underneath, and then back down again to cure the next layer. Stratasys has partnered with major material manufacturers such as Henkel and DSM to provide high-performance engineering-grade resins to print on this machine. So the Origin One comes with a one-year subscription to NetFab, and that's where you put your parts in to arrange them and select all your supports, at which point you export that into the Origin web app, and then you select your proper materials that you want to print with, and then it's sent to the printer. And once it's sent to the printer, you'll see it right here, and you just hit print and you're good to go. So once you have the parts printed, the next step is to wash them in a sonication bath using isopropyl alcohol. And then once they're clean, you can cure them in the UV cure chamber for a few minutes, and then your part is done. So now that we've gone through that, let's set up a job here, and let's print it, and I'll show you kind of what that looks like. Since we're dealing with resin, it's important to wear all of the personal protective equipment to keep yourself safe. So that includes a lab coat, safety goggles, and gloves. So now I'm going to load in some material, and we're going to start this print. Before starting any print, you have to make sure this resin bat is nice and secure, and so is your build up. So now I'm going to pour the resin. And this print we're running is not a very large print. So you just need enough resin to fill that first line.
All right, so our resin's in there. All we got to do is close it up and hit print. So now it's printing. And any resin that is left over, you can filter and put back into the machine. So this print is about 45 minutes long, and once it's done, I'll show you the process of washing and curing. And this is the skate park print, which shows all the fine details that this machine's capable of. Alright, our print's finished and it's time to remove it. So I'm going to place this tray on top of the resin vat. Unscrew the head. And place that down there. Now I can take this tray to the cleaning station and get it ready to wash. Alright, so I'm just going to use this razor to scrape this off the build platform. So next we're going to throw it into the isopropyl alcohol bath and run it for two minutes. Now there's two different baths we have here. We have the dirty and the clean. First you run it in the dirty bath for about two minutes and then swap it into the clean and run it again for another two minutes to make sure you get all of that resin off there. And once your dirty bath becomes too dirty, you change that out, your clean becomes the dirty and then you replace with a new clean. Two minutes. Alright, so two minutes is up in the dirty bath. So let's get the part out and put it in the clean bath and run it for another two minutes. Alright, two more minutes. Alright, our part should be clean now. So next it's important to make sure that the part completely dries of the isopropyl before putting it in to cure. So we're just going to let this dry and I'll hit it with an air compressor and then we'll put it in the cure box. So we put it in the Dymax for 30 seconds on each side and then your part is done. Alright, we'll flip it over, cure the other side. for another 30 seconds. And there we have our fully cured part. You can see all the really nice surface finish and fine details that this machine is capable of. If this were a clip or a mount or a bracket, it would be ready for end use. So stay tuned for more videos around the origin as we learn more about the machine and all of its applications and different materials. We'd love to bring you along for the ride. Thanks for watching.